Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNuck1 slash Gubiadict, and welcome back to part 12 of my Let's Play for Civilization Beyond Earth. So last time we dealt with some aliens, we finally cleared them on out. Um, we're trying to get our guys back to safety. We're exploring a bit, and we found a spot that we think we want to put another city in. Now, there's still a lot of time left in this game, and considering this is a one, two, three fruit uh, city, and additionally, a one, two, three titanium city. Hell, it, maybe it's even a four fruit city. Um, this city will actually grow unbelievably quickly if we have the workers where we need them when we need them. It also establishes a forward for pushing up into uh, polystralian territory, so I am down for that. And yeah, so right now we're just working on finishing our mag rails. Um, our economy is still sort of kind of important hold on just set this timer and let's go ahead and finish our bio well there so our priority in the short run is going to be getting our economy up to speed um let's see growing continuing to grow getting our health up up to speed and building a small military for eventually invading the polystralians or preparing for war with citadella if it comes to that Okay, so let's just keep on rolling. We're getting our civil crushes soon um, in Init 10. We already have one done in Kuyan, I believe. And one in Tiangong in just three turns. I'm just trying to get some good scouting up this direction. I want to see what's going on. And this forward city from Brasilia does look like it could pose a bit of a threat to us. If worst comes to worst. Alright, so now it looks like there's another. there has to be another nest somewhere up here considering where these aliens are and it looks like we're running into um where is the Kavithan protectorate mander is here but there's a city up here i'm wondering who it belongs to Let's try to see and figure that one out probably the Kavithans, because we are running into three armors all right so i don't want to piss these aliens off too much they could really do a number on us considering we're not melee units Let's just get this guy home to Gansrig and get him healing up. And we have no real place for these jets right now. They're not really in range to reach anything. We finished repairing the paddock there. And we can go ahead and improve that gold. I just want to make sure we have enough life or health on that unit to remove the, uh, the miasma before trying to go ahead and build the mine. So here we were building a bio well. We're just going to finish that in three turns. And let's just make sure we're locking in on health. Because I want to ensure that we have that. All right, this one's definitely locked in on health. Also, we're finally going to be building these petroleum wells. We've put it off long enough. Um, it is now high time to do so. And this city use a little bit of locking on these wells. Okay, that looks good. That's going to get it growing. It's taking a little bit of a number on our economy. It's, I think, fine. We have enough built-up energy to last us. And we should be getting a little bit of free energy from our spies if we manage to pull some of those operations off. Okay, so we finished our Saturn Nursery in Ganserig. And Ganserig, again, 8 people, 8 health. Still dealing with it completely effectively. I think it's time to go ahead and pick up the Civil Crush here. Um, Ganser is one of those cities that grew unbelievably quickly to match the pace of Kuyin and Ninit Tin and the capital. Um, and that's really quite impressive. Wanle is growing to become its own quite quickly as well. Not quite on pace with the other cities yet. But hopefully in the long term it will be. So here we have an option between really helping to solve our energy problem or going for... Actually, how looks, how's the health here? We have three health and six people, so you, we could actually benefit considerably by picking up a pharma lab. Um, I think that looks like a safe option. Let's do that, and the reason that Juanle is taking a while to build these things is it doesn't actually have that many production sources, all things considered. It will have them as soon as it picks up the, these two tiles. Um, it's not going to pick up this one for a while, so let's go ahead and just buy it. And as soon as we have these two hills up, Juanle won't have too much of an issue with production. For a good old while. Let's heal our gunners up. And we probably won't push off into that territory until we're prepared to do something about it. So that's 
the Polystralian border right there. So they definitely have something across this ridge. I'm going to go ahead and walk onto this hill. Hopefully I don't come into a city range. And I do. Ho Thankfully, however, it is just a colony. So we could attack it preemptively. It looks like it's going to finish well before we reach it. So I'm going to pull my guys back. And hopefully we'll just be able to attack that uh, once we get a bit of an army. I want to reinforce this forward line then. That means I want my units home. Um, I might just keep the gunners here so I can get a colonist there. And honestly, as soon as this crush is done in Tiangong, let's just build a colonist there. Seems like a good, smart idea. So we did just finish our petroleum well in minute 10. And we'll just go ahead and try to finish that second one. This guy can build us the mine. Trade convoy. Well, uh, one of the other things we want in Tiangong is... The stuff that gives extra energy out of tundra. That's going to be considerably helpful for a few of these tiles here. We got three tundra tiles. And more up here. Yep, even more. Okay, so... What is the best trade route? So this is giving three food, three production, and two to Ganserig. Or we go four food, five production, and only one production to Gongren. This looks like the best option right now. I mean... Gansrig's fine without that too, and I just like a bigger yield. Okay, so this is like we can get into Gansrig and begin healing up. These needle jets can actually they can't do damage quite yet. I'll have them on air intercept if any of this over here becomes a problem. And just like that, that city finishes the turn we came to walk in and see them. Um, thankfully it doesn't have quite that much city strength, and our disciples are way too strong to really just die out to one hit. So I'm just going to get a little bit of vision here, see what we're up against on, as far as terrain goes, and begin to pull back. So we just finished two generators. We're not working either of them yet, but um, eventually if those become extremely high energy yield tiles, we will be. So we finished the mine there as well. It's a great tile up there now. Two food, two production, two science. And some of these workers, I'm going to bring them back to work on the mag rails to... Uh, Gongren. We also might want to start building Magrails this direction. Actually, you know what? That seems like a better option right now. We'll just build Magrails this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm, I already decided that I think probably this tile is the best spot for a city. You go three food here. One, two, three, one titanium. One titanium, three titanium. And that is just incredible. One, two, three, in fact, four fruit. If you, if you count that. That's incredible. If we have the workers on point... That city will just grow so, so quickly. Um, and down here, we're just going to slowly think at, think away at trying to get those mag rails done. Our economy just keeps bouncing around. Hmm. Very curious. See, now it's negative five again. Very confusing. Um, at any rate... We did finish our civil crash, so what I said is we should build a colonist. That said, it's just four turns until we grow, so I'm thinking the mass digester is a better option right now. That's going to give us some good old energy as soon as it's built, and I really forget what the quest is for it, but I'm sure it won't be too bad. You know, the mass digester in minute 10 is probably even better, considering we have even more tundra tiles here. So, again, that just looks like a very safe option. We're going to go with the mass digester. Okay, so we finished a Saturn Nursery in Gongren, and it is now time to... What do we want to do here? I suppose an auto plant could really get Gongren rolling, so that's not too shabby of a choice. You really need those auto plants to have cities start, I don't know, just kicking it into high gear. So, these guys will have to build through a little bit of miasma. I, yeah, so why not? Let's just give them the opportunity to heal for once. A few turns of healing will do them good. And these guys can come down, although I want one of them to stay, so the colonist doesn't get completely attacked. Get some vision. In a trade convoy, what is the best trade? This is three food and five production to the capital. We could do some other place. I honestly, that looks like the best. I love feeding my capital. And the miasma is gone, so now we can begin constructing the mine. And hopefully, Huanlei will have some good sources of production shortly. Oh yes, once these two tiles finish, Huanlei will actually have a way to 
produce uh, stuff. <laughs> Such a strange border expansion. So we established a network, and our agent was undetected in Mandara. Let us begin to siphon energy. Ten turns until that science kicks in, and we can now get a free virtue. So now we could go here and get a new covert agent. That's not a horrible, horrible idea. But what we could also do is pick up Army Engineering Corps, or just the free affinity level. Um, honestly, the free affinity level in two turns would be nice, but right now I'd rather grab the Army Engineering Corps. Actually, hold up. Hmm, how many turns is it going to be until the next next virtue? Probably only 10 or 11, so you know what? I actually feel comfortable getting Army Engineering Corps now. Let's see how that affects stuff. So we do have a couple... It's actually quite good, because it's actually going to improve all of our Phyraxite tiles all around. And our Petroleum tiles will increase in their yields as well. So this is actually a fairly good virtue here. And we're only two away from getting the kicker of a free virtue and a new Covert Agent. So what we could do is pick up this one now. This one thereafter, and then that's going to give us free virtue, which we can pick up information warfare with. That looks good to me. Or we could just try to gun it straight down into uh, democratizing, democratized quartering, which is really going to let us build armies. I think for now this is the best option. And that triggers our plus 5% combat in might. This is all looking pretty good. Okay, so we finished the bio well here. Um, I think we just build another bio well up here really get us some good health sources. I want to have four or five or six available online. Open fire on that guy. Just two turns until we're done with that citizen in the capital. Well, let's just build a trade route. Alright, so which one is the best? This looks like it is still the best, so let's just keep on going down that route. Our workers are healing up considerably. Let's give them one more turn of healing. Sorry, Kavitha. Did not mean to piss you off. Alright, we can finish the Neural Lab. Um, hmm, what do we want to do now? So, unlike the other cities down south, this one doesn't have too much Tundra. So, the Mass Digester won't do it all that much good. Um, I suppose we build the Colonist. We did just go to 10. It's just four turns until the Colonist. It's focus production. It already is. And that way, we'll actually get our colonists there quicker. Okay. So let's give these two one more turn of healing, but this guy can actually begin the Magrail construction. We want this to be a fairly straightforward uh, Magrail, so boom, boom, boom. Um, actually, you know what? We could... What's the fastest route to the capital? Probably like this. That's just such a long route. We could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... It's not all that bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's really the same way either way. Um, just depends where you want to end up. Let's just build direct this line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Just want to go right here. Yep, looks good. We'll begin that mag round. This guy can just open fire. We'll kill him eventually, for sure. And our rangers will actually upgrade next turn. Build us another bio well on that forest. I love me some forest bio wells. Moved up on that hill just to get some good vision. And get our guy back to heal. We now have two disciples, fully operational. Both at veteran level. Brasilia causing a bit of a stir. We might want to try forcing our border. Next turn, we will see if this brings us to eight. It does! During Shanda, noun. Shame felt upon discovering one has mistaken an artificial intelligence for a close relation. How beautiful it is to speak to the machine in its own language and have it speak back that in ours. That is brilliant. We jump straight to eight. Uh, we have zero points. So that was perfectly efficient. Um, so now the choice is go bioengineering for the bioglass furnace and the xenomalayum or synergetics for the science. I honestly think bioengineering because it takes a little longer for the science to kick in and we want to get the xenomalayum. Um, I'd like to at least. It would solve all our energy issues for pretty much ever. 
Now that the profit quest. So the question here is plus 30% when attacking wounded units or one extra friendly unit. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go with the... Huh. I guess this one. It's I suppose it's more consistent. But then again, this is so easy to achieve. You just hit it with one plane. Um, we're going to go with that one. The Overseer. Alright, Overseers are, in my opinion, the best Ranger unit in the game. Um, just because it's more or less just free, plus 20%. Uh, they're always going to be behind your main line, 20%, or next to another Ranger, really. And that's just plus 20% damage. That's just good. Um, that's why I love me some Overseers. Okay, and this one's honestly going to be able to deal with all these, all these aliens on its own now. Oh, it's going to be so easy. Just fire those laser orders. Boom, boom. So simple. Okay. Let's get him back to heal and get our overseer in position. We finished our mine here. Let's send him over to help with the mag rail to Gong Ren. These guys can begin their own job in the mag rail process. So let's send him into the miasma. And the rest will follow suit just like that. It's really surprising how much trade with Citadella has kept us afloat. I'd like to be independent of them. Um, we could probably sell some of this for Axide. We should probably do that. We're not totally using it for stuff right now. I suppose we will be once we have access to the bioglass furnaces. Because um, that just gives us the ability to build 5 with 11 Fraxite. In the long term, we will have access to this Fraxite and that. But it's just going to take a while, considering Tiangong's borders aren't going crazy quick. We're not really the Kavithan Protectorate. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. I like where this is. I just like my guys to heal up. So built another mag rail here. Go ahead and skip over this tile. We'll give uh, this guy the ability to work that one. And, yeah. Just keep on blasting away, these guys. I love those laser mortars. They're so cool. Oh, yeah. Brazilia's pushing up. They're trying to make forwards. They're expanding all over the place. War with them is certainly inevitable. Venga. Well, well, nope. Sorry, my friend. They're just under us. Uh, we have the technology. We could wipe these guys out. We have the technology. That sounded odd. As I said it. How's the health looking? 62. See how this is just growing so quickly now? That's how we do it. Alright, so we did just finish our second Perlium Well. Now we have access to the production in, in a tent. It's so, so much production. And we finished a pharma lab in Juan Le. Um, I suppose it's time to get the auto plant here. Get it rolling. We need the production. And here, how does the health look? 10, 10. All right, solid. How about Juan Le? Seven, yep, all good. Where do we want growth? I suppose we can just go build another bio well on that under tile. Isn't hurting anything. Um, or we could get another bio well out in Kuyan on that plains forest. Hmm. We want to do. You know, I just want to get my mag rails done. So that's my number one priority. And honestly, helping this new expansion we want to put up there. So let's get all of our workers on that. We're gonna have to cut down a lot of forests and do a lot of stuff. Nope. No peace, sir. No peace. I'm sure war with Brasilia is eventually inevitable. The question is, when do we do it, and how much force? Alright, get our colonist up there. And... You know, we could actually build Sinosher. Um, I love the Sinosher. Um, it's just one of the longest things in the game to build. You need an incredible, incredible amount of production to uh, even attempt building this thing. 35 turns. Um, I wouldn't do this except unless a city had an immense amount of production. Like, if our first city was up here and had three titanium mines, maybe we could get this down to 20 turns and it might be worth a 
crack. Um, but as it is, it's just an immense, immense amount. Um, so I'm actually thinking we begin building a bit of an army. We've gotten most of the things we want done. Um, all we have to do now is build us the repair facility. And then we can begin cracking away at military units. Okay, so we finished our colonist here. A bunch of options. We can go sail cradle, hollow suite. Hmm. Mass digester is not going to be too, too helpful in the city. Um. Finisher here. Be bad. What's the shadow show like in here? Let's just look at that. Activate our Q. 48 turns. Wow. Um, then again, we're not maxing our production, I'm sure. Yeah, unfortunately, we're really going to need those biogloss furnaces if we want to make a dent in some of these higher cost stuff, even with our mag rails. Um, let's go ahead and build us the repair facility. We'll pour some military units out, see if we can't begin a bit of a military conquest. Because it's one thing to talk about building military units, it's another to like, yep, we're doing it now. Um, to focus it and really dedicate. And it's important to do that in this game. You can't just go by long-term plans. Eventually, those plans have to come to fruition. Like, for example, talking about an expansion here, you, you can just go so many turns without bothering to build a colonist. But here we are. We built it. What's going on? What do we still need to move? All right, this guy. Let's get him... I love the transportation on Magrails, it's wonderful. Let's see if we can't get another city up here. Okay, so he has 30 health points remaining, and he's finishing his Magrail now. Get him up there, and get him up there. One more turn on the Magrail there. I say we just heal him up a little bit. He's going to have to build through Miasma, I'm sure. So, like the rest of the guys, just have him heal. And you know, when these guys are done, they can probably just help Gongren build stuff. We've had literally Gongren sitting around doing nothing for the longest time now. Let's just actually clear the Miasma. I do intend on working these tiles. And boom, boom. Just like that. One tile remaining for mag rails. And we finished our repair facility here. So now we can begin building some military units. I'm thinking disciples, disciples, disciples. That's what my brain is telling me. But at the same time, there's some stuff up there I'd like to get an explorer on. So let's just build one explorer while we're, while we're waiting. And NASA suggester finished here. Just like that, we're positive in the economy side of things again. Even with all these workers, we don't need in the long run. Um, and so many bio wells costing us energy. Um, so, let's... What do we want to do here? What do I want to do? You know, these soma distilleries aren't even necessary because of how much health we have from the bio wells. And that's critical. Soma distilleries are more probably important in probably purity games when you don't need the bio wells for the food, so you can just rely on farms and then soma distilleries for your health. But those civil crushes are really critical to our uh, food, I'm sure. Still haven't gotten the quest for that. It's going to be very nice when we get it. I'm thinking we pour into military, I guess. We dedicate. Um, or we can just pick up a cell cradle see what it, that quest's for. I'm really not familiar, too familiar with those sorts of quests. And let's just roll up on... Okay, moving these guys. Yep. Let's move this miasma for the long term. That Brazilian manticore. Bombard these guys. See if the PAC's workers can't do what they have to do. And do it quickly too. Gotta give the PAC workers credit for one thing. They can pretty much do anything really, really quickly. Yep. Alright, more mag rails. Here, I want to remove the miasma. In the long term, that's going to be more useful anyways. And this worker can begin getting in the zone. 
Alright, we'll walk on top of him. Our city will be up in two turns. And this worker can build me some Phyraxite. He can... Go ahead and clear this Miasma. Actually... Hmm. Let's get up the first bio well here. Why not? Need it in the long term. <laughs> Tell him to do nothing for now. And we get this explorer way up north. So quickly. I love me some magrails. And let's begin building some disciples. I'm gonna queue two of them up. I love disciples. Disciples are the best. A horde of disciples can pretty much do whatever it wants. One of the things we could do is, um, you know, we could pick up tactical robotics that brings us to nine, and then we could build sabers. And those things are scary. I'd love to get sabers just at the optimal time for them. But that looks like that is the timer for this episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.